Please hear me out for the next few minutes. This video is going to be very meaningful for you for giving the exact solution for the problem on Fourier transforms. So we have to find the Fourier sine and cosine transforms of the function 2 into e power minus 5x plus 5 into e power 2x. First of all, I am going to write what is f of x given? f of x is given as 2 into e power minus 5x plus 5 into e power minus 2x. And Fourier sine transform formula is... This is the Fourier sine transform formula. So what it is? That is Fourier sine transform of f of x value is equal to integral 0 to infinity sine x sine px into f of x into dx. So what is our f of x function? So I am going to substitute this one. That is Fourier sine transform of f of x value is equal to integral 0 to infinity. That is 2 into e power minus 5x plus 5 into e power minus 2x into sine px into dx. So this is the function and we have to split into this is 2 times of 0 to infinity e power minus 5x into sine px into dx plus 5 times of integral 0 to infinity e power minus 2x into this is a sine px into dx. So we have a formula that integral e power ax into sine bx into dx is nothing but this is e power ax by this is a square plus b square that is a sine bx minus this is b cos bx. So, in this formula, if I apply, what is the A value here? Minus 5. And what is the B value? It is P. And here A value is minus 2 and B value is P. If I substitute here, then the Fourier sine transform of f of x value will be, this is 2 times of e power minus 5x by minus 5 whole square plus P square into A. A is minus 5 into sine Px minus B is P. P cos, this is Px. Between the limits, 0 to infinity. So, the next one is plus 5 times of integral e power minus 2x by, this is minus 2 whole square plus P square and this is minus 2 sin Px minus, this is B. In place of B, we have P. This is cos Px between the limits 0 to infinity. So now we have to substitute all the values and therefore the Fourier sine transform of f of x value is nothing but if I keep the upper limit then this will be e power infinity minus this is if I keep the lower limit that is 2 times of e power 0 by so this is 5 square it is 25 plus p square and sine 0 value is 0 this is minus 5 sine 0 minus p cos 0. So here for lower limit minus I wrote front and the next one is if I keep the upper limit then this is going to become e power infinity into something and uh, for lower limit it is minus of 5 times of. So what we have to do e power 0 by 2 square it is 4. 4 plus p square into this is minus 2 into sin 0 minus p into cos 0. So now if you see e power 0 value is 1 and e power infinity value is 0 and sin 0 value is 0 and cos 0 value is 1. So this value is 0, this value is 0 and this is this value, this value is 0. So what remains here? So the Fourier transforms of f of x value is equal to minus 2 times of this is 0 and cos 0 is 1. So this is minus into minus. So, this is minus p by 25 plus p square and here this is minus 5 times of what remains here? Here cos 0 is 1 minus p remains. So, minus p times of 4 plus p square that is the Fourier sine transform of f of x value is nothing but 2p by 25 by p square plus this is 5p by 4 plus p square. So, this value is the Fourier sine transform uh, value. Therefore, the Fourier 
sin transform of f of x value is nothing but 2p by 25 plus p square and 5p by 4 plus p square. And next what we have to calculate? Fourier cos. We have f of x value and we have to find the Fourier cosine transforms. Fourier, this is cosine transform. So what is this Fourier cosine transform formula? That is Fourier cosine transform of the function f of x is equal to integral 0 to infinity f of x into cos px into dx. So here we have f of x value as so this is integral 0 to infinity 2 into e power minus 5x plus 5 into e power minus 2x into cos px into dx. So this if you see if I keep 2 outside 0 to infinity e power minus 5x into cos px into dx plus 5 times of integral 0 to infinity e power minus 2x into cos px into dx. So we have a formula that e power ax into cos bx into dx is equal to e power ax by this is a square plus b square and this is a cos bx plus this is b sin bx. Here a value is minus 5, b value is p. Here a value is minus 2, b value is p. Now I am going to substitute. This is 2 times of e power minus 5x by minus 5 whole square plus p square. And this is minus a. In place of a we have minus 5. This is cos px plus p times of this is sine px. Between the limits 0 to infinity and uh, the next one is plus 5 times of this is e power minus 2x by minus 2 whole square plus p square and this value in place of a I have to write minus 2 into cos px plus p times of this is a sine px between the limits 0 to infinity. So first of all if I substitute that is Fourier cosine transforms of the function f of x is equal to this is 2 times of if I keep the upper limit here this will be e power infinity. So as you know that e power infinity is 0 minus if I keep the lower limit this will be minus times of e power 0 by 25 plus p square into minus 5 cos 0 plus p sin 0. plus 5 times of this is 5 times of the next one if I keep infinity here then this will be e power infinity as you know that that will be 0 and the next one here is minus e power 0 by this is 4 plus p square minus 2 cos 0 plus p sin 0. So this is p sin 0. So we have certain values that e power infinity is 0 e power 0 is 1, sine 0 value is 0 and cos 0 value is 1. So here if you observe that e power infinity value is 0. So this value is 0 and again sine 0 value is 0. So what remains here? 4 year cosine transformation of uh, f of x value is equal to this is here if you see this is 2 into Minus of minus, this is plus 5 by e power 0 is 1, cos 0 is 1 by 25 plus p square and here 5 times of minus into minus, this is plus 2 by 4 plus, this is p square. Therefore, 4 year cosine transformation of f of x value is 10 by 25 plus p square plus 10 by, this is 4 plus p square. So, this is how we have to solve so here is a simple formula so using this simple formula if you substitute and uh, substitute the upper and lower limits so, so this is the formula you have to follow in both the cases the function is given the formula is ready and if you substitute the upper limit and uh, minus lower limit then we'll get the answer and thank you for watching all this video i'm pretty sure that you will join me in my next video too and please share it with your friends if you really like this video and uh, who couldn't like your subscription, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much.